Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel, A Safe Haven, where we can talk about our hair. Um, so, today I'm going to talk about wrap setting lotion. So this is a video more for my short ladies who like a little mould, a little wave, a little mm, going on. Um, where should I start? Okay, what have I got now? I've got four wrap set lotions here. Um, for example, I've used the Kira Care one. Please believe the bottle doesn't look like this anymore, but this is a refill bottle. Um, I've been using this one for years, but um, I don't know. I just thought I wanted to try out something new. I've seen a lot about like some other ones, which I'm going to talk about as well. And to be honest, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna be going back to my Kira Care one. And not because it's not good, it's decent. <laughs> We've reached a new standard that can go <laughs> over there. Um, so, where should I start? The two that I'm really keen to talk about are the, um, or the ones that have like the, the biggest kind of competition was the Nairobi, um, which, oh my god, guys, Nairobi, please, I beg you. Can we get this in the UK, please? What's going on? I've emailed, no one responded. I emailed somebody who's supposed to be a UK supplier. No one responded. I'm bit, that, that's the only thing that disappoints me about this product. It's almost impossible to get in the UK. If you do get it in the UK, I think before lockdown, I was able to get it about £20, maybe £18 a bottle from Amazon. Let me check right, what it's saying right now. Because right now, <sighs> it's actually £30 a bottle. I don't even know what to say. What's this smell like? So that was one pump. Notice that's still sitting there. It's not moving. It's not moving. It's a bit thicker consistency than the. Um, than the it's a thicker consistency than Design Essentials. Notice it's still not moving. It's still not moving. And this is my point and the thing that I really like about the Nairobi. Um, when I had my nine weeks worth of regrowth, my eight weeks worth of regrowth, which was my last wash, that still wrapped my hair. It still felt silky. It still felt soft. Um, it was able to hold down like my regrowth, like. It gives you a nice shine, and you can see in other videos before this, I've been using it. It gives a nice shine, it gives a nice hold, it doesn't leave the hair crispy, it mixes more with other products. Um, like, I, I genuinely like it, I've been using it for ages, a lot of my clients get to use it as well. Although, I have one client who, she's got a bit of a problematic scalp, so when I use it on her, we're trying to figure out, it could be flaking her scalp a little bit. And also, when I put it up on my Instagram... Um, someone else said that on clients with um, like really blonde hair. I didn't notice it on my hair. I haven't had no problem. I haven't coloured my hair in so long. Um, really blonde hair it can turn it. It can change the tone of the blonde hair. I haven't noticed that, but um, you know, maybe if you've noticed it, please comment below. But like, oh, the other thing that's really good about it because it gives such a firm hold. If you're doing like moulding, like you're doing um, waves and finger waves, I'd recommend using that firm. I wouldn't use Kira because that melts too quickly. It literally just runs down the head. Not to like, can I get some out to show you guys? Let's see. That's the Kira It sits quite, no, you can see it actually moving. You can actually see it moving, and that's what it does on the head. Yeah, this is literally what it does on the head. And imagine a hair that's already, it's already wet, a bit damp, it's gonna, it just keeps moving. This is what I don't like about it. I mean, it did do me, to be honest, I've been using that for about a solid five years and have, I managed to get on with it. So if that's the only thing you can find, it can work. But if you want to be prestige, honey, or you want something, you want to upgrade your little, um, your collection, go for the Nairobi. If you're not willing to pay 30 pounds a bottle in the UK, I don't know how much you lot pay in America, someone please comment below. In fact, don't, because I don't want to know that it's like $10. <laughs> um, the Lotto Body. quite a nice smell so guys if you don't know lot of lot of body is the brand that back in the day you know when everyone used to have their roller set you would use a lot, lot of body um setting lotion before uh, a set and leaving that nice firm crisp hold well this is a wrap set lotion um i do find let's give it a pump oh it's a bit runny and i do notice that when i use it but if out of out of all of the ones i've tried um, I do like Lotta Body. It smells really good. If I'm to trust somebody to give me a wrap set lotion, I think I would trust Lotta Body. Lotta Body, if anyone. Um, it does give firm hold. It does give a shine. Um, I wouldn't. I didn't really enjoy it when I. The more we go for God, I didn't really enjoy it on it. Um, so for like the average person, not everyone's gonna be have to grow out their hair because they've got like bleach on their head. 
like I did, but I think it was good for me to experiment like that or to see what it's like. Uh, to be fair, do you know what I would do, say? I'd give Nairobi number one. So Nairobi comes in at first place for me because of its firm hold, shine, and um, ability to mold. You don't even have to put strips on it. This is the thing that I really like on it. If you, a lot of clients, you can put this on their head, you don't need strips, like it will actually just sit nicely. This is what I like about it. So you get a firm hold, you get shine, it doesn't flake, um, I really like it. Whereas I probably, I could easily put these two second. I feel like not enough people know about design essentials, but their rapid set lotion is quite good. A lot of body, I trust them. Even before I tried it, I was like, I'm keen to try this because I know a lot of, lot of body know what it is to make a setting lotion. Like, if you had a set back in the day, this is what they did. Like, you use a lot of body setting, setting lotion, and then you had your roller setting. It was crisp, it was firm, it held. Um, it smells really good, but these two are both, like, this is runnier than that one, so you do need to use quite a bit of this. Um, but it does the job. Um, it does give a nice little shine as well. So it's this one as well. Um... Kira Care, I'm bored of it, can't be bothered. And you know I'm big up with Kira Care, but uh, to be fair, nowadays I'm trying to use more black-owned products as well, so. Yeah, that's my review on the four products. Um, take care, have a good, blessed day. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon for another video. Take care, guys.